Mark, here we stand in front of a revamped, I suppose, dugout and a tunnel area of Fratton Park, but it's not the end of it. It's just the tip of the iceberg, isn't it? It is literally the tip of the iceberg. A lot of work's undergone on the stadium during the summer and it will continue du during the season. I mean, what sort of stuff has been renovated for those people who haven't seen it yet and, and don't really know? Well, there's been a lot of things go on behind the scenes that fans wouldn't necessarily see, such as a new CCTV system and, and, and things like that. But things fans will see is the kiosk. You know, we've got a new kiosk provider in now. Um, so hopefully the service there has been great. Although the kiosks haven't yet been revamped, there are plans to revamp them as the season goes on. Um, with the toilets have been revamped, the corporate areas have been completely um, all, re all been refurbished. The front of house at Frogmore, Carisbrook Road, you know, there's been extensive work going on there. So as I said, there's been a lot of work ongoing and, and during the rest of the season, there'll be a lot more work. And, and a lot of it isn't just cosmetic stuff. I mean, it looks very pleasing on the eye, but some of it is just essential stuff that needed to be done really years ago, didn't it? Yeah, there's been a lot of infrastructure work in regards of trying to get hot water into all the toilets, just as an example. We've had um, two new seating areas for the disabled supporters. Um, Put, put into the, the corner at the south stand of the Milton end and the Fratton end. Um, we're hoping to get them up and running, obviously, in the next few games. So, yeah, there's a lot of work that gone on that fans might not necessarily see, but was essential to the running of the football club. I mean, so far, the stuff that they have seen, though, from the opening game against Dagenham, it's, it, the feedback has been, well, <laughs> harshly positive and stuff. I mean, looking at the tunnel, that's one area that, that people like. The branding in particular, I mean, what was the thinking behind the branding? Well, obviously, the, the fans voted to change the logo, a more traditional look for the logo. Um, which personally I, I really, really like. And, and obviously everything cascades down from that. Uh, it was a good excuse to get a lot of, of lot of old signage redone, obviously, with, with the new logo. But it always helps when you put in a good performance on the pitch. Everything looks a lot brighter. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, where are we, would you say, percentage-wise, uh, with the work that has been completed and, and, and that's still to come? I'd say we're approaching half of the work that we wanted to get done. Um, has, has already been completed. Things like the, the um, floodlights, that's still got to be done. Um, and that'll be done after the Derby Dame in, in time for the next home game that we have, the nighttime game.